Hello everybody, welcome back to another Dragon Ball Legends episode. Uh, today we will be going over uh, basically some of the newer units in the future that I think could be coming out between now and uh, between now and the Legends Festival for 2024. Basically that thing that starts in November and ends in January. Um, yeah. Last time we got Ultra Instinct, UI, Sign UI Goku, Ultra. That's what we got last time, along with Goku and Bardock for part two, and part one was the Red Gohan. He should be right here, right? It's this Red Gohan right here, and this these two, who have fallen off supremely hard. I, I literally never see these guys anymore. Sucks, too. I really liked them. But anyways, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. Going over who I think could be basically released between now and the, uh, the Legends Fest. Uh, so make sure to subscribe, uh, like, and comment. We're on the road to 100 subscribers, and once we do reach 100 subscribers, I will be at least attempting to start streaming. Uh, as it stands right now, I still live in my parents' house. So, streaming as of right now really isn't too feasible of an option. I mean, I can, it just have to be around now, which I don't know. Can you guys see that? You can't. It's uh, 11.25 right now, p.m. I have to always record these super duper late. I mean, for most people it's probably not late, but for me it is. So, fuck off, it's, it's late for me. Um... I really didn't come into this with uh, too much thought. There's just one person that I have a really good feeling about. It, well, there's two because I watched. Uh, I didn't watch, but I saw the th thumbnail for Zakashi's video, and most people are thinking about it too. At least th from what I know. We just got this legendary Super Saiyan Broly, so I can't imagine that there's going to be much more Broly things happening for the rest of this year. Unfortunately, as it is, like, maybe, I can see maybe during Legends Fest we get, uh, games original with both Z and Super Broly, but that's way down the line. Uh, let's look here. Get out of here. Uh, we got September. In September? Gosh. Last year? What'd they do for September last year? I think I wasn't playing during then. I think it was Super Saiyan Goku with Ultra um, Janimba. It was like September, October time was when those two came out, I think. I swear that's when they came out. Um, we're doing movies again until, what, the, the end of September? Or the end of this month? I don't know. Um, what I'd like to see, they're going to do like, if they're doing... One Legends Limited and one Ultra per uh, month, basically. That's what they've been doing for a very long time now. Um, a Legends Limited... Um, they wouldn't do GT just yet. Gosh, what could they do? Maybe something like a uh, Tournament of Power? They haven't buffed that in a minute. They could do like a Legends Limited Golden Frieza. I'd really like them to do some LOE buffs. That would be one thing on my list. It's like September would be LOE buffs, that'd be great. Cause this guy, he's good, but he's not enough. He's definitely not enough. We'd need like a new Golden Frieza, or like even just a, we could get a Saiyan Saga actually. We could get the Super, not the Saiyan Saga, the Namek Saga. We could get an, basically a retrain of this guy. It, as an ultra, and then uh, the Legends Limited could be like another Frieza. I mean, why not, right? Maybe we could get a Legends Limited Frieza that's literally half the body again, where like literally his uh, his animations are literally just half of a body. That would be crazy. Um, or maybe like it's a regular Frieza that revives into only having half of the body. With like 30% HP or something like that. 
because he's not that strong when he's in that form. I think, I don't know. I mean, he survived the planet exploding, so he's got to be at least somewhat strong, so maybe 50%. But that's basically, like, uh, this is all speculation, this is all, like, stuff that I, I don't know anything. This is just things that I'd like to see, basically. September, it'd be nice to see, like, Saiyan Saga, or, god damn it, uh, Namek Saga, uh, or LOE buffs, because Misa like LOE. I also like Future, and we're gonna get to that in, uh, whenever the fuck Black Friday happens, because that's basically whenever they drop a uh, new Goku Blacks. Um, October, I can definitely see them dropping another fucking GT unit. If it's not going to be in October, it's going to be during the le during Legends Fest. But they did say that they dropped multiple GT buffs, and GT is pretty good right now. But this guy, this guy, he's he's basically just for fusions. Nobody actually like people run the GT team, but uh, they still this guy fine. He's got indestructible second unit to have it. This guy amazing. Literally can't escape him. That third unit though. It'd be that Spirit Bomb Kid Goku, wherever the f I've seen him before. It's one of these two. And honestly, he's almost falling off because people know how to play against him now. Uh, and he is still tanky, but that's literally all he is. He doesn't do any damage, as far as I'm concerned. Um, except for his ult, but like, fucking... Uh, Vegito Blue from year two still does massive damage with his ult at 14 stars. So, like, GT could probably use one more buff before we go on to, into the next year. So, I can see that being what we do in uh, October is, like, probably only, like, one more sparking, like, Legends Limited kind of deal. Ultra? I seriously don't. I'd like to see another Ultra hit or even, like, a Legends Limited hit that has his same gauge. Um, we could also see a plat for some of these guys. I, I didn't even think about that. But definitely, we need a plat for, like, this Super Gogeta right here, this Super Vegeta right here, this Broly needs a plat, uh, Rosé needs a plat, and Hit needs a plat, Kid Boo needs a plat. Like, basically, if you cut off the top row and everything down here, they all need plats, including the free-to-plays. They should have been the first ones to get plats, honestly, all these free-to-plays. And they really need to bring back free-to-play ultras. I, I really, like, why did they make two of them red and then one of them purple? That makes no goddamn sense. They should have made, like, one for each color at the very least for free. Um, but yeah, basically, like, October is gonna be, like, probably another GT buff, I'm assuming. And then, uh, maybe something like, I don't know. What'd they do for October last year? I don't think it's much. They wouldn't actually, like, I think it'd just be in, uh, a, uh, fucking GT unit and then, like, a Mega Rising banner afterwards, because it is a cooldown period. Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is going to be releasing then, so they're really not going to sell any unit during October, dude. There really isn't any point to do, um a new unit that's like super hype during that time because a new a, literally a brand new game is coming out then they're not gonna make much money on this game for trying to uh make money yeah thinking anyways november which is where i'm gonna put uh the go the the black friday it's gonna be future i i want it to be future did we need an ultra fusion zamasu so bad future has been like it, i remember okay way back in like year two three when future was absolutely fucking dominating with where the hell is he he's green where is he every everybody who played back then knows who the fuck i'm talking about where the hell is he where is this guy right here this one this one even nowadays this guy is annoying as hell because every time he uses a green card he heals like how much is it it's when he's transformed how much does he heal when he's transformed? Or is it going to take forever? What is his special arts? Increases... Yeah, no, it's the transformed one. Restores on health by 10% and destroys all of your own cards and randomly draws three new ones. Yeah. This guy... That guy is crazy. He is crazy good, dude. Like... 
there's there's a reason why he, he hasn't been Zenkai yet. It's because he's absolutely insane. But like as of right now, like he can still do stuff as long as a purple unit isn't in circulation and unfortunately a purple unit is in circulation, so you can't really do anything with him. And he's just green card spam, that's all he is. He's literally just spamming green cards. You use like him, the purple EX Weiss, and the purple EX uh Yajirobe, you don't care about the other two at all whatsoever, you just let them die and then use Rose the entire time. Just spamming green cards to heal off whatever your opponent might have done to you. That's literally it. So definitely during November I can see us having a, uh, definitely see us having a Rose or a Future unit basically, because Future used to be insane, it used to be one of the most annoying teams to run against, they used to be absolutely cracked, and now it's just sad to see them be this bad. Like, I, I literally don't run into Future ever. If it's Future, it's basically just Fusions, because that's all Future is now, it's just Fusions. With, like, maybe the occasional uh, Corrupt Zamasu, who is a fusion. So, you know. And then, uh... <clears throat> and then... What is it? December? December time? At the end of November, they'll probably start uh, the Legends Fest. And I'd love it if they started the Legends Fest with uh, the a Goku Black or Zamasu unit. Because that means that basically Legends Fest units almost last the entire year, which is great. It's like you don't see anybody running. What? Let's find one. Fucking this beast Gohan anymore? He's fallen off hard. Okay. And that's where we're. That's basically where we're going to end off with is beast Gohan. Um, he's ba like. It's going to be. It's really close between like. Beast Gohan and like another Rose or Zamasu or Fuse Zamasu between who's gonna be the Ultra. Personally, I like it. I love it way more if it was like Fuse Zamasu Ultra. We really need one of those. I don't care when, okay, but like during Legends Fest, if they make it him, that would be peak for me. I might even 14 star that one. It's like insane, dude. Um, but I mean, if past, <laughs> if past records have shown anything it's the fact that uh when gohan's release specifically oh my god where is he that piece of shit specifically when gohan's release like this one right here when gohan's release uh they're absolutely fucking cracked every single like every few gohan's that release absolutely just shake the game completely into a new meta and it's so dumb I, I hate it so much. Every Gohan that releases is basically absolutely broken and busted and can't can't be tinkered with at all. So that makes Hybrid Saiyans literally the best team to ever run. And you're always gonna get you're always eating good because you're always gonna get support and it's always gonna be the best support ever released. Like this fucking bitch. I hate Ultra Gohan with a passion. Oh my god, in that n in that new Videl video that I just posted, I had to fight both of these guys. Both of them. Ultra, Ultra Instinct, Sign Goku, and Ultra Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Oh my lord, it was annoying. I think I lost that match too, because the Gohan just literally threw his ult, and I, was I clicked a button like a fucking moron. I, it, you, you don't click buttons when you're playing Legends PvP, okay? That's the moral of the story. So yeah, I mean, that's what I'm foreseeing. I don't really foresee too much different. It's uh, like it's basically just this video is basically just uh, me throwing shit at the fan right now because I mean, I already did the two showcases that we need. I ain't 14 star in both the new units. I'm just kind of like gonna save my Chrono Crystals for the next big unit that comes out because that's basically what's gonna happen. Is oh, what's what's the date right now? Come on. It's the 18th. This is just a Zenkai for the Super Saiyan 3 uh, LF Dragon Fist Goku, which I will be doing a showcase on it, like Zenkai level 4 and then 7. Uh, oh, so I need to do a showcase on that Broly once I get him to 14. Next week is when a new unit should be dropping. I don't know who it's going to be. It's going to be from one of the movies. 
So I guess the other movie character could be... I mean, <laughs> they could be... It's a Broly theme, so we're definitely going to get another Broly. It's not going to be the Super... It's not going to be Z-Broly from the second movie. And it technically could be anything. My top picks for that is uh, a Metal Cooler who, like, rev like revives or has Endurance twice. I'd prefer, and like, revives twice. Once with 50% HP and then the second time with 30 HP. You know how cool that would be? Metal Cooler reviving twice. Oh man, and he tech and he gets way more buffs as the uh, fight goes on. That would be insane. Um, so there's that. Another Broly. I mean, we don't have Bio Broly, but everybody hates Bio Broly. If you talk about Bio Broly, you're getting kicked from the group chat. So like, don't talk about Bio Broly. Super Broly uh, can't be him because it's Z movies. Uh, we don't have a Garlic Jr. yet. That'd be a nice Garlic, a nice unit is Garlic Jr. Uh, I personally would like another Bojack as well. A Bojack would be really cool. But I mean, I can't really think of another Broly that we need. Like this guy, I think is from the first movie. I don't know. I, I don't have him. I never pulled him, and I'm not gonna fucking bother pulling him because he died literally the first month after his release. This guy, I have at three stars. He's really fucking good. I can't imagine him at 14 stars. That'd be crazy. Um, and he's from the second movie, uh, and those are the two newest Broly's, anything below this is, any other Broly really, is either Super Broly or not worth talking about. So yeah. And then movie wise, I mean, I never, I don't have a whole lot of movies, I have them sitting right over here, but I can't think about them completely right now. We could get another Herodogarn. But it'd have to be like either transforming or like another one of those death Herodogarns. But we can't have giant characters in the game yet, unfortunately. But yeah, that's basically it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Again, we are on the road to 100 subscribers. Um, and when I hit 100 subscribers, I will be uh, attempting to stream. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. See ya.